guys, it's Karen from Art for Acrylics. Welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. No painting today. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I do spot resining. I'm going to break this into two videos um, because there's a ton of people who already know how to resin and I don't want to bore you guys. But if you don't know how to resin, part two of this video that will be posted two days later will go through that process in depth and also include the um, final results of my little project here. Um, that way, the more experienced folks can just watch this little 10 minute video and uh, roll with it if they choose to. And uh, everyone else that's newer to it can watch both videos and see how I do the entire process. I'll give you a little sneak peek of the final result. So just kind of go like that just to show you the raised edges. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this is part one of spot resining. I am using liquid latex. I got this at Party City. You can order from Amazon. It's in my Amazon shop under paint supplies. Um, fairly straightforward, just use some gloves. And I'm just using some foam brushes and a popsicle stick to get into here. Just give this a little shake. This is the stuff that um, people use at Halloween to make masks. It's basically rubber cement. See, this is what it looks like because it was around my uh, cap there. And I am just going to go ahead and pour a little bit on every place I want it. And then I'm just going to take my brush here and brush it up to these lines. And that's it, that's all you have to do. I'll show you how to get it into the crevice, but for right now, I gotta be careful because uh, looks like my marker wants to bleed a little bit right there. And I'm just gonna spread this around. put it on thick. So I'm going to do the um, top of the canvas first and then I have places um, on the sides where I do not want resin um, where there is color. So I will do the sides after the top dries. So I'm going to shut up so I can speed this process up and uh, I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> it's me again. I forgot to mention too that um, I do like to put on two coats because I have found that one coat, um, the thinner it is, um, the more it rips when you go to remove it. And when you have like a thick, thicker coat of rubber, it peels easier. So this is more like you don't have to put two coats. Um, it works fine with just one but this is just me liking two coats because it just rolls off so much easier. So that's all I'm doing right now. The other thing is you don't have to use 
a popsicle stick or foam brushes. And if you just put on some gloves too, sometimes you get a little better control simply with your fingers too. Um, particularly if you push it, um, rather than try to smear it up um, to your edge, wherever you don't want resin, um, like I'm doing here, and just kind of pushing the latex up to my lines, I find sometimes works really well too. Um, and it makes for a cleaner edge too, so you don't have rough edges. So that's what I'm gonna do right here, is just kind of take it with my finger and push it up. Now if I go into my black line, um, I'm not gonna worry about it too, too much because I'm gonna outline this particular piece at the very end after my resin has cured, um, or at least has been dry for a day or two, um, and go over that black line again. But see, I'm really happy with this corner now. I got my, my latex all the way up. I will use my popsicle stick to get into those two little notches in the artwork. So I'm just gonna take this and just kind of give a little push, like get in there, because I don't want resin on the white there and right there. And, oh, there's another little notch there just to make sure I have full coverage. And yeah, that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, well, I was gonna show you the sides, but really on the sides, all I do is, you know, you can pour some out or pour it onto a sponge brush. I'm just gonna use the stand here with my finger and do the white areas um, where I'm not gonna want resin to run over. And this, this particular piece is pretty, straightforward there's not a lot of notches or anything um, on the sides it's mostly white so i'm just going to take my latex and smear it on my sides and let that dry as well and that's it we'll be uh ready for resin in the morning see you guys then <laughs> every time i think i'm done telling you guys something i think of something else um one last thing i am holding my camera because I uh, wanted to show you what the liquid latex looks like dried. It dries quite yellow. And when you read the uh, thing, it says that it dries clear. Oh, right there on the, on the can, dries clear. I think it dries clear when you have a super thin coat on your skin, then you're not gonna see that yellow. Um, it drying lumpy and yellow for our purposes does not matter. It actually makes it easier to see um, if you've gotten up close to your lines enough. Like I see a little bit here, right there, then I'm gonna have to go back and, and touch up where I missed. So that comes in handy. And then just this little preview of what this stuff looks like when you go to um, remove it, it removes really super easy. Let's just do, this part looks like it's easy to redo. So basically, all I'm gonna do is just take my finger, see if I can do this with one hand, and roll it off. That's what I'll be doing once the resin is set enough to, to uh, roll away the liquid latex. That's how easy it comes off, like that. Now I'm gonna have to stand here and reapply it, but that's okay. Just like that, look. Et voila. So, I'm trying to think. I think that's everything. I'm just gonna stand here with my popsicle stick and look for little areas like right there um, and where I showed you over here where I didn't get quite close enough to my black line. And then uh, this will sit overnight. It dries super fast. I mean, it was dry within an hour. I could go in resin um, right now, if I wanted to, I'm going to wait till tomorrow because the weather's supposed to be warm and I can op open up my house to do it. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right. That's it for part one. Um, pretty straightforward process, right? So you guys can go ahead and give that a try. And again, if you're new to resonating or just want to see what products I use in, um, 
get a refresher course that'll be in the next video along with the reveal of the final results of my little project so uh i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care and uh please like share and subscribe and uh yeah peace out